and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Adelica. Today I'm gonna try out a new palette that I bought. It's from Odin's Eye and I love Odin's Eye. Odin's Eye is a Swedish indie brand and they came out with a the second collab with the legendary Diversa round two. So it's three influencers that has done this collab before. So it's Judy, it's Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and it's the fancy face. <laughs> I bought one of these palettes and I want to try it out for you guys, a first impression and see what we think about this. So if you're excited, stay tuned. And if this is the first time here, very welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do a lot of makeup content. I love makeup. I have a lot of makeup in my drawer. So I love to do these get ready with me, chilled videos. Sometimes I do these kinds of videos, trying out new makeup. I do a lot here and I also love to vlog. So I have vlogs on my channel and I also love fashion. So I also have fashion related videos. It's a little bit of everything. Check it out if you like it. Feel free to subscribe, I would love to have you here. And like this video if you like it, but let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, I picked out a palette from this collab and I wanted to try this one, this Spring Dragon. This is the collab with Judy, it's 37 US dollars. And I wanted to pick up this one because I love Odin's Eye, but this palette, specifically this palette has pastel in it. So we're gonna see if these pastels here are good. Are they going to be good? Because I don't know when it comes to Odin's Eye. I know they have one pastel in that Snow, um, Snow Dream palette that I own, but I wanna try it out and see if it's any good. So <laughs> I'm very excited. So let's take a closer look at this beautiful palette. So it has a sleeve, it has a beautiful artwork. So the sleeve is the same as the actual palette and it's a really nice compact little palette. I love that it's not too big. It's like a book and you have a mirror and look at this color story, it's beautiful, it's pastels, but you also have actually a dark brown here that you actually can deepen up with, which I absolutely love. And it has some beautiful glittery almost topper shades and also some like true shimmers, I would say. But I think the most of these are very glittery and I really, really enjoy that. So I am very excited to try out this beautiful palette. I love, as I said, the color story. The color story was really up my alley. So I thought I'm, I wanna try this one. I'm not gonna buy everything just uh, because it's a collab or anything, I want to be a little more aware of what I'm buying and bringing into my collection because I do have a lot of makeup. But this one, I really have been looking for a pastel palette, so I want to see if this is any good. And that is actually what we're going to do. Also, we also got, um, or I, <laughs> uh, with free with purchase, a little key ring. It looks like this. Uh, it is cute. I mean, it has the pastel shades. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. A little dragon, maybe. I suppose. A very angry dragon. <laughs> this, by the way, is actually from Odin's Eye. It's from... I think it's from the collab with Bad Bean. They have these silk scarves that you get also free with a purchase. I didn't get one this time around, but I think I have three of these. And I really love it to put in the hair like this. And yeah, but uh, I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna get started. Okay guys, I have primed my eyes with the Gloss Gods That Base Crease Killer number three, looks like that. And yeah, let's dig into this palette, I'm very excited. So I want, let's see here, I want to do something with this beautiful green and this lavender purple. So I think I'm gonna do this green half of my crease and the purple in the outer, uh, like <laughs> half of my crease over here. And then I want to use this like green shimmer and the purple shimmer and maybe yellow in the inner corner. That is a plan anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with the green one here. and. As I said, I am very curious to see how these are gonna perform because I feel like pastels can be quite hard to be good. This is very pigmented and beautiful, like almost like a minty green, very beautiful. Because sometimes when it comes to these pastels, maybe they are not 
on the eyes they are not pigmented they blend away they disappear I feel like it's really hard to do good pastels so we are definitely gonna see if this is gonna be good <laughs> but so far so good with this shadow I will say I mean oh my god look at this this is so intense this is really minty green and super pigmented yeah as I said so far so good this is really beautiful maybe I'm gonna actually put this half of my lid as well because we're gonna put that shimmer on top but I think it feels like it's a little bit of a topper shade so it's not like full pigments it's like you can see through a little bit and then it's actually good to have something underneath like this mint green okay look at that I mean <laughs> beautiful this I could see myself like in the summer day just have this all over the lid this color Oh my god, what a beautiful shade. I love lavender. I love lavender purple. <laughs> so I am quite happy when I saw this shade here. Looks stunning. So let's use this one then. So we're going to put this like half. I love like minty green with purples together. Like purple and green are beautiful together. So I'm just going to put this half on my lid. As you can see. <laughs> And just do like that and it is a little bit of kick up I don't know if you will be able to see here but it's not a major problem I mean <laughs> I know Colourpop shadows some of the Colourpop shadows are just so kick, kick up -y. <laughs> do you say that <laughs> probably not like have a lot of kick up oh my god this is so beautiful I am actually really impressed so far and it doesn't blend away either so look at that that is really 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 pretty okay guys so let's try the shimmers or maybe i should do my under eyes first so i'm gonna take the same sheets we had and just put them underneath here like the green half of my under eyes and the purple like half through as well i think this is gonna be a very quick and easy look I really love to do these kinds of half, uh, half eyes. What do you say? I can't even say it in Swedish, <laughs> which is my my language, my main language. So I don't know what, but you know, half of half of the eyes probably has a name. But so let's try these shimmers then. So I'm gonna try this. This looks so gorgeous, guys. I am going to my favorite brush this brush I think you cannot get anymore and it's so used so I don't have a name on it either <laughs> but I am going to spray it with some fixing spray and just to get it more intense and not get any fallout so let's put this green where we have the green on the eyes and just like put it there Let's see here if this is working here. So I'm just gonna put it here. That is very pretty. I feel like I need to take a lot though, but maybe it's because it is like a topper shade. I am going to use my fingers now because I want to see how it performs because I, I actually use my fingers a lot these days. I mean, look, because you have natural oils oils on your fingers like on your skin and this warmth to it so it grabs the shadow so good um so we're gonna try just to apply with the fingers and it's easy and quick as well you don't have to spray anything like that i mean look at that it's the same you get the same result with your fingers but anyways this looks gorgeous so very happy so far I mean I love this pastel look I am so looking forward to spring guys I don't know how you are but spring today I'm actually going out and gonna buy some spring flowers uh, just to put in pots outside just to see something like not just gray just actually to see color and let's take this one so this is the purple. This looks so gorgeous as well. It's a little bit flaky. Well, it is very glittery. So let's see. I sprayed it and hopefully we're not going to get too much fallout here. But you never know. You never know. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, I am going to use my finger. I hope you can see. Maybe you can see. Can you see how it shifts? I can definitely see something here. Like it's not just purple, purple leaf fuchsia. It is like. Is it green or something? Not green, but it's definitely something more to this shadow. Beautiful. Feels really creamy as well. It's specific this this one. This could be really nice, just this one all over the lid, this purple, because I feel like it's not like bam in your face, it's actually really subtle and not too dark. I really like it. Hmm. This is very, very beautiful, guys. So beautiful. I am so happy. I am... I won't say like I'm surprised, but I was a little bit like... Are they going to do good pastels here? Because I know they are doing great with the mattes, like dark mattes, light mattes, and the shimmers I love from Odin's Eye. But when it comes to pastels, it's kind of like another formula. I don't know, it's so hard to do good pastels. So, but this, I must say, this is beautiful. Oh my God, I am so excited now for this palette. Truly, uh, I am going to use this one now, this beautiful yellow pastel, and I think it picks up so good as well. I think we're going to put it here, like in the inner corner, just to have it like a little something else here. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm getting so much spring vibes here now. It's so positive. This is like so positive colors like you get really happy with these colors oh my god i am so pleased with this look i am so pleased this green is beautiful can you see like yeah of course you can see you have eyes probably <laughs> if you watch this video but i really enjoy this i can imagine actually i'm not into blues but if i do blue, I love like more pastel blue, so this, or maybe like murky grayish tone blue, not like bright blue, but this is bright, but this is more like pastel, so I actually want to use this, maybe I can use this in another video, because I'm very curious now about the blue. <laughs> now when this looks so so pretty okay guys this is how it looks right now i'm gonna put something in the water lamp probably i'm just gonna put the bright eye brightener from kaya cosmetics or maybe not maybe i'm actually could use like a pastel in my waterline as well i think i'm gonna do that actually i'm gonna put a liner and mascara as i always do and i don't feel like i want to do lashes or do i maybe i'm gonna do lashes today yeah Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do lashes as well. I'm come back and we're gonna talk about this palette. You're gonna see this look up close when it's when it's fully done. And yeah, you're gonna see it right now. So guys, here you have the finished look. And yeah, what do you guys think about this look? Do you like pastels? Do you like pastel looks? I absolutely love this look. I feel like this is really up my alley when it comes to colors right now. Like very pastel-y, happy colors, light, but also colorful, but not like too much, if you know what I mean. I can just say I love, love this look. And I actually put on some lashes. I usually don't do that anymore, <laughs> I feel like, in my videos, because I always do these chill, get ready with me. I don't know. I just... I just don't do it that much anymore but today I really felt like it's gonna look good with the lashes on so I took my Fluttery Lights 170 lashes the ones I always use I feel comfortable in them they are not too big they are not too too much so I yeah it fits my eyes <laughs> and I actually put as you can see like a liner but a purple liner so I went through my drawers and I found this here let's see here <laughs> this I think actually this this is a liquid liner in purple it's a felt tip liner and I feel like I I think this is from Sheet Lamb 
<laughs> way back uh, because I don't buy from She Glam anymore but I bought a lot of makeup from them uh, um, for a while and I think I actually bought a few of these so I found this and yeah yeah it says She Glam actually so it's from She Glam but uh, I put this one on and in my waterline I actually put two liners so here where the green is I put this minty color from Colourpop. This is the cream gel liner in Icebreaker and in the outer part here in my waterline I put this LA Girl Pastel Dream in the shade Lavender and it's just a purple lavender. <laughs> so I put that one on and did I do anything else? I don't think so, just mascara and yeah, the lashes, as I said. Uh, what do I think about this palette for a first impression? I mean, I used three mattes and two shimmers, so <laughs> I didn't use every shade in this palette, but I, as you could see, I was really, really happily surprised about this palette, about this quality of these shadows. I don't know how it's gonna wear throughout the day, but it looks really, really gorgeous. They are super pigmented. I am so in love with this minty green. As you can see, it's just like so beautiful color and the purple as well. And yeah, I'm very excited to get, dig into this palette even more and see how the other shadows performs. But for now, I must say I'm super impressed with this palette and it's really up my alley right now. I mean, these colors, the color story. I think this is gonna be a good everyday palette for me in now in spring, summer. And I love that it's a little bit smaller as well. I know Odin's I have some bigger palettes as well. They have bigger, smaller, they have a few different sizes, but I do love this kind of size of a palette because I feel like it's very handy. It's very nice to just have if you're traveling and I actually love that it has a mirror as well because sometimes you really need a mirror and you can actually use it and it's not big and bulky so you actually can use like the mirror because you can see it's like it's really great actually and yeah really nice i am super happy i am really really pleased with this look and tell me down below guys did you grab this palette or any other palette in this collection tell me down below if you are happy with your purchases if it performs good if you like it i am going to do more looks with this of course in upcoming get ready with me so stay tuned for that and i see you in my next video take care guys bye